Hi there, this is Ms. Novikowski from My Home to Yours, and instead of a math game today, we're going to learn how to do some origami together. So you need origami paper, which is just square paper. I've got origami paper in different sizes. Uh, this is plain colors, but you can also find origami paper that has patterns. If you don't have origami paper, you can also just use regular paper, and I'll show you how to take a regular piece of paper and cut it down into squares for origami, so you'll need scissors to do that. You might also want a marker or crayons or pencil crayons to add details or to decorate your paper. And then I also find it helpful to have something to help you really crease the folds well, either a ruler or something like a folder or a dull knife that you could wipe, um, you know, crease over the folds with. So uh, let's do some origami together. If you don't have square paper or origami paper at home, you can make squares out of a regular rectangular piece of paper. So you start with it this way and then fold it in half to make two rectangles. Then crease it well, open it up, and then cut along that line in the middle. If you don't have scissors, you could use the edge of a table and very slowly rip your paper in half along that line. So now I've got my two rectangles. I'll save this one to make another square later. And then I take my two rectangle, my rectangle here, and I start at this bottom corner, and I fold it up. And again, I'm just kind of rolling this here and taking my time to match up the edges along here. And then I can start creasing along this diagonal here. And you can see now that we've got a triangle on this side and a smaller rectangle here. And I can take my scissors and cut right along that edge. And you can use this rectangular paper to make a bookmark or use it for something else. And then when I open up this, I have my square. And it's already folded across the diagonal in case I need that for a project. Here are some of the basic folds for origami. You either start with a diagonal fold where you have the vertex at the top here and take the, the bottom vertex and meet those points together. And this is where you can use your fingers. Increase that really well. And then when you open it up, you've decomposed your square into two triangles and that's the diagonal line across your square. So that's one way of folding it. In origami, we call this a valley fold when it's like this, a valley between two mountains. And then when it's this way, it's called a mountain fold when the top of the mountain is like that. So that's one typical fold. And then the other fold is decomposing a square into two rectangles. And that's by folding it this way. Again, from corner to corner, go across the bottom. Again, it'd be a valley fold if it's this way or a mountain fold if it's this way. And then the third fold I want to show you that is common in some of the projects that we'll be doing. Again, you start with your diagonal fold and you open it up as a valley fold here. And then you're going to take these two corners or vertices and fold them into that line of symmetry. So keep this curved until you've got this all lined up really well with your fingers and then crease it. And then do the same for this side. Sometimes it helps to turn the paper. You can line this up along the line best you can and then crease it with your fingers. And this is called the kite fold and you can see that it's in the shape of a kite. So those are the three main types of folds that we're going to do.